What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Separate Ways. What's the news on our friend, Leon? He's not making it easy. The sample? Sadler's got it. It seems he sniffed out our little game. Perfect. Just so we understand each other clearly, I don't trust you, nor does Wesker. If you try to do anything clever, I will kill you. Is that so? You know, I met Wesker long before you. We'll see soon enough if you did. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Quite a jolly mess he's made, that Leon, but all for the better. Sadler's people have fallen into a panic. Their destruction is only a matter of time now. Once he gets Ashley back, his job will be finished. He'll no longer be a factor. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules. Great. A hit's been put out on Leon and we need to stop it. Oh, fun! So we need to go catch up with Leon and make sure Krauser doesn't kill him. All the way over there, huh? Doesn't seem too bad. Anyway, listen to this song. Welcome. I absolutely love this song. You only get it during separate ways, and it's such a good theme! It's so much of a good theme that I used it as one of my insulates for this series. That's how much I like it. There is one other theme that is comparable to that, that's just that awesome, but it's only for one specific character, so you never get to see it. The merchant doesn't have anything new for us besides another treasure map. We have every single weapon that Ada will ever get. At least during your first run. And now we are at the island facility. We need to stop Leon from getting killed by Krauser. Which means we are basically going the longest scenic route possible. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Basically, it took Ada forever to get to the confrontation between Leon and Krauser. Like a long time. <laughs> this mission's a little ridiculous. But, but I will say, for variety's sake, they did add plenty of... Plenty of things to get in your way, and it all makes sense. You'll see what I mean eventually as we go through the entirety of this complex just to get to where Leon is. And the thing is, from the looks of the map, he's just over the wall, but we can't get to him. But, uh, oh, I forgot I don't have any bowgun bolts. Oops. So what you're going to be dealing with is the main adversaries that you see all over the island when you're playing the main game. There's nothing new here. But one enemy you might be wondering that we uh, may or may not see. What about regenerators? Did they ever show up? We'll see. But first, there's a side room over here. Doesn't have to. Oh, great. Doesn't have too many goodies in here, but it does have some ammunition, and I would say pick up everything that you can get. This is where I would consider separate ways to start getting difficult. And it's just because of pure numbers. The AI director is still working at this point in the game, but you are going to get surrounded very easily, and you're going to have a lot of the same annoying enemies you had during the island segment. They've got the stun rods, they've got archers everywhere, and it's just a pain in the ass, especially when you get to people who have helmets on. Not exactly the most fun, but still... still fun. I'll give it that. Yeah, I'll at least give it that. See, look how close we are! All we have to do is... Just go past the wall! Can we just talk to the merchant? It's like, hey, I know you've been selling Leon rocket launchers. Can you hook a girl up with one of these? No? Okay. I do like how this is the wreckage from when Leon and Ashley were going through with the truck. We were following directly behind them. So all of this carnage, all this chaos, the reason we can't get through is because Ashley's been destroying stuff. I love this attention to detail. Now, 
I, I know I shouldn't complain about- Ow. I know I shouldn't complain about this, but I just kind of find it funny while playing through this. If we were to just go, like, time-wise on how long it takes to get through this chapter versus how long it actually takes you to get to where Leon starts fighting Krauser, that section on the truck versus uh, this right here, the truck segment takes about five minutes, give or take, just to, you know, get through everything and have Ashley destroy everything and save her and all that jazz. And then it only takes what, 10 more minutes to meet up in that arena? That's about how long it takes to get through this. A little longer, but then again, you're not timed on anything. Even when we had that one portion in the church where it was playing the danger music, because it was like, Leon's about to die, you better do something. It doesn't do that here. You can take as long as you want to get there. They'll be fighting for a long time. They're boys, they need to get it out of their system anyway. They're going to be fighting. They're fighty boys. I will say, now that we have tougher enemies, and they will be doing uh, a lot more damage, this is when Resident Evil 4 started to get hard for me, is when I got to the island, because all of these enemies do extra damage anyway. And that's why they give you the tactical vest at this point in the game. But you don't have that with Ada. They're just going to be dealing a lot of more damage to you. A lot of more damage. That's some good English there. Helmets, so many parasites. And that's another thing I've noticed. Maybe it's the AI director working. I seem to be getting a lot more parasites now. I suppose it's good for variety's sake, but I'm running out of flash grenades, man. Stop making me use them. I will have to start using a little bit of all of my ammo just because, for some reason, I don't know why, and this happens in every version I play this in, and this goes for the main game as well. It will give you rifle ammo when you don't need it. I have, uh, I played through this on Xbox One just to get some extra footage, especially for this chapter. I had 30 sniper rounds, and I was out of every other ammo because it wanted, that's a trap. Sorry, I had to interrupt myself, but that's a trap. You turn the corner and you get hit by the big hammer guy, you're probably going to lose half of your health, if not die. So I just want to throw that out there. You do want to come in here, though, because you can get a lot of cool stuff. But anyway, they give you so much rifle ammo for a gun that you will barely use, especially in close quarters like this. Give me more bowgun bolts. I'll gladly take those. Anyway, you wanted to come all the way around here for the Golden Lynx. That is your main collectible for this chapter. We need to find its three treasures to stick in its face. And, uh, wow, I've actually run out of space. Let me just, uh, do a little bit of cleaning here, make sure everything's copacetic. Speaking of bowgun bolts, we got them! And I really like this. They made platforms for you to specifically jump off of, so it's just like you're climbing up boxes, then eventually jumping off. You don't want a hookshot up there yet, because back here is a free first aid spray. I'm gonna try not to use it, I'll probably sell it the next merchant I find, but just in case you need it, it's there. Moving right along. This is where we're going to start getting into the difficult bits. So this right here was just to ease you into these new enemies. And then you reach this part. This part can go straight to hell. I really don't like this part. The entirety of Ada's campaign here in Separate Ways is brilliant. I love how it adds to the story, it adds to everything. This part can go straight to hell, as previously mentioned. So right here, you got a couple guns. They need keys to activate, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to use those. Why would you? Why would you want to use a gigantic fuck-off gun? No, you, you, you don't need it, trust me. But I would say reload everything, because there is no way we're coming into this room and nothing's not happening. Oh, hey, look, the key and a bunch of dudes. Oh, hey, look, a giant turret gun. Oh, hey, a missile gun. That's great. The entire battleship knows where we are, and we're about to get killed. That is absolutely great. So what you want to do is stay out of the way of the gun. In fact, this is the worst spot I could be at right now. This is not out of the way of the gun. What's kind of neat is these guns, 
they don't uh, discriminate when it comes to killing things. So you could technically just run out of your way. That's getting way too close. There we go. You could run out of the way and have the guns take out the dudes for you. It is actually a very viable strategy to have your enemies kill thine enemies. Ah, crap. Uh, you know how I was saying rifle ammo, I've got too much of it? Well, uh... Crap. Yeah, let's do that. I know one good place where we can use rifle ammo, but it's just not right now. I'll have to use it a bit later. But uh, I can't tell you how many times I have come into this part of the game and died. You won't see it here, but just know that I fall for this trick almost every single time. And it's not the fact that the guns are there. I know they're there. You play this enough times, you already know there's a trap coming, obviously. The thing that kills me the most is underestimating how much damage is being done. Those guns, two shots and you're dead. If you have anywhere close to half health, you're dead. There is so much damage that can be dealt here, and I don't have a lot of health to begin with because I haven't been using yellow herbs. But just know, it is very easy to die in this section. Anyway, use this giant turret gun. Take out all who oppose you, especially if they're trying to shoot you. To my knowledge, you can't die in this section. As soon as you're in here, you're very well protected. I wouldn't jinx it, though. I would say just kill the guns, get it over with. And eventually, your gun explodes, and then these uh, lift systems start up again. Well, it's borked. Won't be able to use that again. I guess this is a way to, you know, g give it a little bit of variety, vary it up. But this part just takes so long, and I really hate that first aid spray now, but it's okay, we got it. There is... this just takes a while. I'm not a fan. I'll stop saying it now, but just know it's got a couple cool things, but this could have been totally skipped. And besides, we're going back to the time frame thing? How in the hell does Ada get past an entire battleship and tons of dudes, especially when you see what happens at the end of this part, in time to stop Leon's assassination? It's stupid. I hate it. <laughs> nah, it's, you know, whatever. Oh my god, you're getting so many items. I really need to get rid of some stuff. I need to start killing. Here is your next objective. You got another gun battery up here. You need to get the key. Where is it? It's on the other side. So use the lifts. And I love how no matter where the lift is, as soon as Ada says, I want on this, bam, it's there. You're like, okay, Ms. Wong. Ooh, we've got a lot of people raring to get killed. I am so ready for them. Let's go ahead and use some shotgun action. Even though I don't care for the shotgun too much, it's still good, especially for these guys. I don't know, maybe it's just the first parasite. It seems to die a lot more to this shotgun. I don't get it. Oh my god! What are they all doing there? Well, the, have some fire, I guess. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen, guys? Oh, look at that. I've already abandoned the shotgun. Imagine that. God, there's a lot of them. And there's a guy in the background. I see you. Don't worry, I see you. Oh, good. TMP ammo. I've been missing out on that. Yay! All right. They're all gone. So, uh, something I want to bring to your attention. I mentioned in the last chapter that for a single frame, there was basically this game's equivalent of a T-pose that happened while it loaded the cutscene and everything. It happened again in this chapter. Oh, that's so fun when it happens. And, of course, I'm going frame by frame while looking back at the footage. It totally happened again. We're up here. This is where we need to be. We're actually on the battleship now. And there there are just so many guys. Now, I'm not complaining that there's enemies in a, a shooty game. No, I'm not complaining about that. It's just, why this? Why something this random? But, to be fair, at least we're not on, like, a helicopter hangar or anything like that. It's a submarine. It makes sense within context. 
But why? I guess it's... Ugh, whatever. Whatever. I'm not going to complain about it anymore. It makes perfect sense. I just don't like it. <laughs> oh my god, I just explained the internet in a nutshell. Woo! That was cool. Later. Ooh, there's some ammo up there. I want that. Oh my god, seriously? Uh, okay. So, it's just, yeah. Load it up. I don't think I ever explained that, too. If you need to combine ammunition, just place an ammo box on top of it, and it'll combine regularly. It'll give you the correct amounts for everything. So, uh, is it that guy? Yes, it is that guy. That guy's got dynamite! I don't need him doing anything, please. God, past Niskel, what the hell are you aiming at? Come on, you dope. Kill him. Self-mutilation humor is very funny. This is what I wanted. Take this. There's a red orb over here. Don't miss it. Because, um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, great! Guns everywhere! Bring out all the guns! 50 million machine guns! 10,000 guys coming on the deck of the submarine to bring out a gun and shoot me in the face! Bring them on! I'm a one-woman army! Bring it on, you losers! Here, I'll hookshot over here with my... I just went through a... a bar. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So, uh, I've been cut in half and I'm gonna take down all of these guys! I actually really like this gun. You've already had kind of like a machine gun, but this one, it shoots missiles. This is so... Oh. Well, uh... Well, there's another reason I really don't like this section. Yeah, there's now a timer. What you can do is, like, destroy the only one in your pathway, and then start running, but really, I think they just want you to kill all the guns, because after you do that, it, they immediately drop you off and say, okay, you have no more use for this gun. And they give you three minutes to get through this. And in case you're... Oh my god, they paused the timer. That never happens in Resident Evil. What I think is funny, and I'm not going to show this at the end of the episode or anything, because normally you would think there would be a, you know, a special cutscene or something like that if you run out of time. I will show you that cutscene within the context of us finishing this chapter, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'll, I'll prove it to you as soon as we get off this thing. But first, we need to slowly and steadily jump off that thing. There we go. For some reason, that stopped the timer. I can't believe they won't stop the timer for the whole island exploding, but they'll stop the timer for just getting on a lift. Ah, crud. Oh my god, I'm bitching too much. It's causing me to be bad at games. Okay, never mind. Another thing is, while this thing is going on, how did Leon not hear this? These are missiles and machine guns being shot. They're extremely loud. Explosions are happening all over the place. Why didn't we hear any of it? And don't give me the logic that it's, you know, too far away. An explosion's an explosion. You would hear something. Especially what happens when, you know, you finish this section up. You would be able to not only hear it, but feel it. Yeah, we're just gonna skip these guys. We don't have to kill any more of these. Now, I love this. The last defense is this guy right here in front of the door with dynamite. He tried. I'll give it that. He made an attempt to stop us. It didn't work at all. But uh, here's what I like. If you go through this door, it ends. Bullshit that Leon or anybody else did not hear that. Also, if you fail that mission, that's what you see. You see that boat exploding and you get mission failed, or fish and mailed, in my lovely alternate reality. You miss nothing out of that. It's just, the boat explodes, everybody heard it, but again, nobody heard it. I can agree that it was done for 
you know, adding some pizzazz to this chapter. And it's like, wow, look what Ada did in the background while you weren't looking or listening or doing anything else. Whatever. I mean, it's here. Might as well live with it. But that's the most obnoxious section done. Welcome. Let's see if the merchant has anything else. I think I've got a couple things to sell. What are you selling? No, I actually don't. Um, I want to get rid of some rifle ammo just so I have some friggin' space to pick stuff up in. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, I don't Thank need that you. much rifle ammo. I'll probably need it for the next chapter, but for now, no, Is I don't. <laughs> get rid of the first aid spray Is so I don't all? accidentally <laughs> use them. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to start saving my money Got for a weapon we can get for post-game. But for now, we're out of here.